understand why it's the statewide uh, right. statewide pie. So any other questions? Yeah, I, was, that I, I just want to see what we're gonna get into today. Okay. So this is our cookie monster pie. Ooh, cookie monster. And it starts out with on the bottom is a um, chocolate chip cookie crust. Then we put Oreos on top and then pour a cheesecake filling <laughs> and then bake it in the oven. Ooh. So it has two types of cookies, and then the way that we decorate it is we take our homemade caramel sauce, put a little bit on, and we take a handful of these homemade pralines, which homemade pralines are sugar pecans, basically they're candy pecans. We chop them up, sprinkle a little bit on. Yeah, my mouth's watering already. <laughs> <laughs> and 
we top that with some whipped cream. Yeah, it actually, for the longest time, we would use these uh, little KitchenAid mixers and we'd make the whipped cream from, you know, from scratch. And I finally got to the point where we needed to buy a whipped cream machine. Okay, where you just so pour much. and it just comes out, it's over there on the counter. You just press the button and it's homemade whipped cream, but it comes right out of the machine and it makes the process so much oh, faster man. and the whipped cream is spectacular. I know it's crazy how technology has advanced. There's so much stuff. I mean, if you, uh, I, I, I've been to trade shows for, for food and baking and all that stuff. I mean, they have ovens, uh, like conveyor ovens that cost $2 million that, you know, produce 10,000 loaves every, of bread every like five minutes or whatever. So there's, there's some really, really advanced technology from uh, portion control in terms of your fillings, right. dough depositors, if you're making like pastry crust or cookie dough. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. In the donut business, specialized fryers that put the donuts in, they, they flip them over for you. Speaking of donuts, I don't think you had a donut to make on the menu yet. <laughs> no, no, I used to make donut bread pudding. Oh, but it you get to a point in business where you hone in really on. Um, uh, what sells and what your products are, what your top sellers are, what your you know what your market is, and you focus on that type of stuff because what you have to realize is that you the idea is to be great at few things, not mediocre at a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. So that's that, 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 like a half be great at a few things and not mediocre at a lot. And that's good. So find what you're good at. Yeah. So then I take the cookies, we cut them up like this into little chunks. Alright, so that's my forget. This is your business. So I know we're in the pandemic. Uh -huh. What's the best way for patrons to come out and get some of this fireman that was famous high cookies that hey. So we have two locations uh, here in Golden Grove, 34, 35 Main Highway, and in Woodward, it's 2882 North Avenue. Um, we've been in the Grove, we've been selling from the door. They just kind of come up, you know, we have a little plexiglass thing that you can stand behind, and it just tells your order. You know, we have the stuff displayed as nice as we can in the front window so, so customers are able to see it. Um, in, the, in Wynwood, we're actually allowing some people in because there's uh, more of a barrier for the, for the staff that's behind there. And um, but three at a time, we're letting folks in. Eventually, we're going to open back up here where we're letting, letting people in just at a limited amount. And everybody's got to wear masks, obviously. And um, yeah, I mean, we've been on top of sanitizing stuff you know, regularly and, and wiping everything down with the approved cleaners and sanitizing agents. Uh, you know, we're really, we really care about, you know, I care about the, the community and the patrons, and I also care about the staff. You know, it's important that the people that are here working hard for you and uh, making the business, uh, you know, run every day, they can take care of them, make sure they feel safe. So, we get into this. Oh, yeah. Oh, So, uh, the next step is a little chocolate drizzle. Yeah, it's one of the more decadent pies, but it's a very popular one. A lot of people like to eat the pie. Yep. <laughs> That's popular. We, we call it salted caramel, just so people, you know, everybody calls it the crack pie, but um, it's, it's, it's a salted caramel pie. <laughs> and then we finish it off with all these chunks of pie. Wow. I mean, I've tried everything on the menu. I, de I definitely don't deny that. I've tried a lot of it. Uh, 
the way I look at it though is that for one, in order to enjoy it, it's about moderation. You know, whatever, you know, when you have things in life, you know, you, you especially with food, in order, in order to maintain a, a healthy figure, like you can't eat a whole tub of ice cream in one sitting every day. Um, so I always tell people, you know, it's about moderation. I get a couple slices a week, no big deal. Um, and also too, for me, it's it, it's about the art of it and the consistency and the customer service, you know, and, and all that. So really, that's what I put my efforts into. And with the product wise, training the staff to make sure, uh, you know, make sure they're they're doing the same and the customer experience is top notch. So you just kind of shift your focus from I'm in the kitchen and I'm making all these products and I'm trying out all these new recipes to I've developed all these products and this is what our customers are buying on the regular list that everybody loves. You know, now how do I continue to make it that consistent, positive experience for the customer every time? So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. Cookie Monster Pie by the man, by the man, the myth, the legend, Fireman Dirt. If you guys are in Coconut Grove, please stop by and visit Fireman Dirt. Not only he said just one location, there is another location in the room. Please come by and see you in this Man, you want some? Oh, yeah, let me take it. Let me take it. You ain't got to act me twice. <laughs>